What's up, Gemini? It's going to be a reading for you and your person. This is for Gemini or whomever is watching this reading. This reading is for you. So there's something. Okay, this this is the second time this release your ex has come out, and it says pay attention to the red flag. So I feel like you have some drama going on in your life here, um, Gemini, and it's just like one thing after the other, one thing after the other, one thing after the other. It's just, it's annoying. It's like, it feels like it's never going, yeah, I just heard never ending. Okay, so they're saying let your friends help you. I feel like you may even be asking God and your angels for assistance but this is also i feel like you're leaning on your friends a lot you know they could be helping you out uh with different things there's something here about true love and a wedding here so let's see give me one card for gemini please Ooh, codependency so dealing with some sort of addiction maybe this is part of what's ever holding on to you in the past like whatever you're you're i'm sorry i, I just like woke up and did these Libra like was freaking making me do my readings um, ASAP. So I'm just, I just came on here. Yeah. See, look, forgiving and learning. Uh, there's, you got a lot going on in your energy here, Gemini. I feel like you're dealing with the, I just heard dealing with the past. So it's like, I'm um, hearing clearing up loose ends or tying up loose ends, I guess is how it goes, but I heard something loose ends. Um, and my throat chakra feels like, maybe you feel like you need to say something. Okay. There's like some sort of apology. There's some, there's something here. Wow. My phone just went off. Um, so, you know, anytime my phone goes off during the reading, I just feel like whatever I'm saying at that moment is like confirmed. All right, give me one card for Gemini's person. Ooh. So this person is extremely passionate. You have a lot of passion for this person. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like this person is just, it, ooh, this is give your relationship a chance. Okay, so, okay, but I'm, I'm hearing you can't move forward with one thing until whatever else is done. So it's like, I feel like you're, you're stuck. It's like you feel stuck. Okay. And this might be making you angry. Um, this is trust. So I feel like this person is just kind of like in a state of trust. They're not, um, I don't feel like they're staying stuck. I feel like they're enjoying their life and just doing whatever, um, I feel like they're open to give this relationship a chance. Yeah. You're not talking to this person. There is some sort of separation between the two of you, but, um, yeah, I feel like this person is just like enjoying, like enjoying their life, you know, like experiencing joy in their life, you know, receiving a lot of blessings and just kind of going with the flow in their life. All right. So where's your connection here? Dang, this card, this card came out for Libra too. So I don't know if maybe some of you might be dealing with a Libra, but, um, you know, that's my twin flame card, but look, see, there's some sort of heartache around this connection. There, there's definitely a third party, third energy. And I feel like part of what this third energy is, is like Gemini, I feel like you are connected to somebody else. And this other person is just like refusing to let you go. Like I, like you saw that card that release your ex. It's like the girl's like holding the, this paper and she's just like, Oh my God. Like, like, I feel like whatever this is, it's like somebody's dragging something out. Somebody just like, it's like things just keep piling up one thing after the other. All right. Let's see what, what this is. This is yeah. Religious factor. See, th this is a lot going on. Okay. Keeping it playful, getting to know each other. So, I, I want to say, is there anything else here we need to know in regards to this connection here? Anything else? Express your love. Whoa. And you deserve love. So Gemini, I feel like you're being 
guided to share how you feel. Like, um, look at, look at this, look at how this is. It's like her arrow is like straight ahead over here to this card. So it's like, yeah, see, this could be the one. So maybe you're, you've been like thinking about marrying this person. Okay whoever this person is on your mind. But I feel like there's like, there's like a lack of communication. I don't feel like you are talking to this person at all. Okay. You're saying flirt. Yeah. See reconciliation. See, and here's engagement. Maybe you want to ask this person to marry you or something or but it's like you got you got some you got some healing to do over here okay there's there's a i feel like your confidence is kind of uh down in the dumps right now just because of whatever it is that you've gone through it, and it feels like it's an ex it's like something from the past and it just like keeps like rehashing itself or something like that it's like it's like some someone or something won't let you move on and and listen not for nothing, Gemini. Okay. And I'm only sharing this because it's like, I'm a firm believer in this. And that's because I have lived it and gotten to the other side of many things that have like, where I felt like I have been wronged or like it was somebody else. Like if it wasn't for, if this person did this, I wouldn't be here, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, what I've learned is that it's, it's all on me. Like I am where I am because of the choices that I've made. And that's that. And when I'm being triggered by somebody else, that gives me the opportunity to check out, like, why am I being triggered? Like, what is it within me that is allowing this person who obviously, if somebody's going out of their way to fucking like trigger you, like, or to make you upset, like that person might be a little bit off, you know, like something is not right with that person. So it's like, why are you letting somebody who is like malicious and obviously not, I, I, I don't, I hate like, because I believe that all of us are like worthy of, of goodness and love. Okay. But it's like, there are some people that we also learn to it's better to stay away from, right? And if someone is like purposely going out of their way to make your life more difficult and you're allowing this person to get you upset, you got to look at like, why am I allowing this person who obviously feels like crap about themselves if they have to like, like this person is obviously a very, very hurt soul, okay? To want to just be mean to other people, you know? And It's like, I don't know, as I've learned to have compassion and forgive myself, like have compassion for myself, I've learned to have compassion for other people. And it's like, I can't get offended by the wrongdoing of other people who are just hurt souls. And like, it's just like, they don't know any better. You know what I'm saying? And it's not to excuse their behavior. But it's just like, it's allowed me to break free, like, just kind of like be like, you know, bless them, change me, you know, and I've gone to sleep crying saying that, okay, because I just don't want to live my life angry. I don't want to let anybody take away my shine. And I know that I'm the only one that can stop that. So it's about my attitude. And so anyway, that's my two cents, Gemini. I feel like you don't want to hear it anymore. So I'm not going to keep saying it. I feel like you, you hear me loud and clear. All right. What else we got here? Yeah. See, look, and the eight of swords sh showed itself into me in re reverse. So that means you're going to set yourself free, Gemini. You are not stuck, okay? And this is confirmation that you're not stuck. And all, all it's, it's like the answers are within, okay? You could be feeling very much alone or just like 
I'm hearing solitary, solitary confinement. Okay, so maybe you're holding yourself like in some sort of sense of um, solitary. Uh, I don't know, maybe you went to jail. Okay, I'm even hearing. Uh, so there's, and like you had a lot of time to process and think. Okay, and that can either be a good or a bad thing because I feel like there's some sort of like anger kind of like stirred up in you. You could be like kind of like resentful right now. Okay or been pushing past this feeling of resentment. But anyway, the Eight of Swords is in reverse, telling me that, that you're gonna set yourself free, Gemini. And you might have to like look within. It's like this, I'm just getting, the answers are already inside you. You already know what to do, okay? So maybe you felt like blocked from expressing your love, but I feel like the divine is, yeah, see, look, see, Something has made you just like all over the place, okay? And here's this queen of pentacles, and I feel like like that's a wife. Like what I heard is a wife. I feel like some of you are going through a divorce, okay? And it like it turned fucking ugly here, all right? Yeah, but you're getting your new beginning, okay? Yeah, and there's the sun, see? Sunshine on me. Yeah, see? Look. I feel like what this is saying is that something is going to be revealed to you as, and it's going to help you um, navigate through all this fucking confusion because it's like you've just been like all over the place. I don't know what the heck is going on here, Gemini, but I feel like someone has had you in a fucking whirlwind and it's just thrown you like off your beam. Like you, ha you are, you're not acting like yourself. Like, you know, you could even be like going off on your friends and shit like that. It's just like, but I feel like you are, yeah, see, look, it, it's something about being guarded. Okay. And you're guarded, like, not because like all these people are, are doing things to you, but, but it's, it's something from your past here. Okay. A lot of past is just being like cleared off and removed it's like people are either dealing with it it's like making a choice do i want to stay in this fucking chaos or am i going to like learn to let it go and what your cards are telling me here gemini is that you know how to let this go okay um but i do feel like there's been some sort of confusion around you and you've been it's held you stuck okay yeah i feel like yeah see look and this is, there's somebody out there, whoever this is, this other person, your other person, like this person is guarded against you. Okay. Like this person is, you know, that this person is like holding back their cup of love here. Okay. But it's like, once you get to this place of like, I don't feel like you shared your emotions with, with this person, but it's like, you're both showing up as a king and queen of cups. So this is like your, your person, right? But you have your cup. You're not showing your emotions. I feel like there's a new beginning here because the page of pentacles, you could even have a child together. Okay. Um, but it's like, look at how these two are looking at each other. Okay. These people are very like, yeah, you might be my fucking soulmate or my twin flame, but I don't fucking trust your ass. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, she's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And he, he's like trying to act like he's unfazed by her look. Okay. But the thing is, is that this is cups energy. That's emotions. Like you both have emotions for each other. Okay. And it's like showing up as your twin flame and everything. So it's like, but there's something about this, um, connection that's been, very overwhelming okay all right let's see give me advice card here for gemini victory your prayers have been heard and answered have faith yeah see because i feel like you've been praying for something to end over here like with whatever you you've had to deal with in the past look take back your power you see I'm telling you because Gemini feel it's like somebody is beating down your confidence and it's like, look, okay, they're telling me to show you this It's for your solar plexus. Okay. That's your third chakra. Isn't she beautiful? I just love this smoky citrine. 
That's what this is called. She's lovely. Okay. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Because I feel like there is somebody throwing fucking obstacles your way. Like left and right. Left and right. And reacting or overreacting to this and taking it out on everybody else is exactly what this person wants you to do. And it's like, so get it together, Gemini. You got this, okay? You fucking got this. Yeah, see? Be the leader that you are. It says, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Yeah, it's like, no, this person does not own you, okay? You need to, like, step up and fucking show, show the world, like, how it's done, okay? Even if everybody's fucking laughing, you know who you are. Look, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Yeah, see? I definitely feel it. Like, your angels are all around you, Gemini, helping you move through whatever this is. Because I feel like somebody is, like, just trying to make a fool of you or something like that. I'm not really sure what, what's going on. It does not feel comfortable or fun or anything. But what I'm here to tell you is that you can move on and pass this. You don't even have to deal with this. You just have to make a decision that you ain't dealing with that shit no more. And you show up and you do what you have to do and just, it's like, just mind your business. Stay in your lane. That's it. Stay in your lane. Don't be pointing out what anybody else is doing. Don't even think about what anybody else is doing. What do you have to do to get your life together today? Like, what do you have to do in front of you? That's what you need to do today, Gemini. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. See, this is your way. To look, you got the courage. And look at this. Look at all the, this is, this is major arcana, major arcana, major. This is a big moment in your life. Oh my God. Look at this. And then over here, it's the two of cups. But it's like, you can keep playing it small, Gemini, and freaking like let whoever this is get the best of you, but know that you deserve, you deserve love, okay? Like real love, true love. And I feel like you feel it for someone, but it's like, you feel like it's impossible, okay? There's a lot of obstacles to go through. Like, yeah, you've been going through all this because it's like, you need to remember who you are who the fuck you are. That's what I, that's what they really said. Whoever is, you don't have to prove anything to anybody. I don't care what anybody says. Do you know how many things have been said about me? Like, oh my God, if I, if I, if I like let that shit, I would still be like, I would just like be in my bed curled up in fetal position and crying. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, fuck that. Like, I know who I am and that's like, I know who I am and God sees my heart and <laughs> everybody else can kiss it. Take that, all right? I'm giving you some of that energy, okay? So fucking take that on, Gemini, and go get your life, okay? Because it's not over. God's got big plans for you, okay? Or the universe, whatever you want to put in there. And there is love for you. There is love for you. I love you, Gemini. Hang in there tough. You got what it takes, okay? If you're interested in a personal reading, I'm offering 50% off. For the month of September, all the information is in the description box. You use code LOVE at checkout on my website. All right? Bye, Gemini.